Now the next video device I wanna look at is a very cool one, and this one's called RockVid. Now I'm not entirely sure if this one's free or not. This one does not come from the maxforlive.com website, but you can find this on the Ableton Live website if you just search for Max for Live devices. I'm also not entirely sure if this one's free. I've had this device for years, and uh, when I got it, it was for the purposes of developing a course. Uh, so I'm not really sure if I had to pay for this or not, but you'll be able to see it and uh, you will find out soon enough. Either way, uh, this device is very, very cool and really simple to use. I'm gonna take this, and this is not a MIDI device, so I'm gonna throw this onto an audio track here. There we go, and there's my little window, and here's the very pretty GUI. Now, one thing with RockFid, uh, this is a little bit more picky in terms of the video files that you utilize. The other devices that I was showing, I was able to load in .mp4s, I could load in QuickTime, .mov videos, etc. Uh, with RockVid, your best bet is to just use .mov files, okay? QuickTime files with that .mov extension. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go to a different folder that I have of some videos that I recorded myself uh, over yonder, here we go. And uh, yeah, this is a little video that I did messing around, uh, trying to create something for the intro of this album that I just released. And that's me in my basement looking at my camera. So we can see that's playing. Uh, it tells me that that's the video right there. Now, if I want the video to stop playing, I can simply just hit this, and it'll stop. Want to see it again, it'll play. If I want that video window to go away, I can hit this box right here, get rid of it, bring it back, and there I go. But what really makes this device cool is that we have numerous different effects here uh, where we can alter the video visually. And not only that, but each one of these different effects has its own LFO that will sync to the beat. So this is a lot of fun to play around with and uh, I like this device a lot because it's very, very simple to approach. I'm gonna make this video window a little bit bigger so it's just more obvious what's happening here. And uh, it'd probably be a good idea to have some sort of beat here. I actually started from scratch, so I'm just gonna bring in a different little drum beat, uh, something quite simple. Let me see, go into our drums. And uh, how about, here we go. I like this kit quite a bit. Now, I'm only gonna create a beat for the sake of having something rhythmic happening that's not a metronome, so you guys can see how the LFO uh, can be very useful for us. We want the video to react rhythmically. We have a clap there, and I'll put another clap over here, and some more random kicks. I'm not really trying to make the best beat in the world, uh, but it'll serve our purposes. And I think I have some hi-hats around here too, my tight, tight hat. I'm not sure if I should be cursing in these videos, so <laughs> we'll just say tight hat. All right, so I'm gonna just copy that like so. Okay, so let me just play the beat. And I'm gonna slow this down. It's a bit faster than it needs to be. Reduce the velocity of these hi-hats. Okay. All right, so going to my audio track that has RockVid on it. If I fade any of these up, any of these little faders here, we can see the effect associated with that uh, is affecting the video. It's a very interesting way. So that's the error effect. Here's the candy effect. I like that. If I had a video with more color in it, uh, that would be a bit more exaggerated. My rainbow effect, it's a nice one. Uh, for some reason, the lo-fi has not been working, but it might have something to do with using the 64-bit version of live versus the 32-bit version. Uh, as far as I know, there's certain jitter uh, objects that don't work in the 64-bit version, uh, and jitter is the thing in Max that allows us to utilize video. So I'm not entirely certain, but I think that might be the reason why Lo-Fi is not working. I'm using the 64-bit version of Ableton Live, and just this one effect has no effect when I'm using this particular version. With that said, all the other ones seem to work just fine. So let me just fade this down. Warp is here. It's trippy, bro. I like that. Start. Ghost is very nice. You get these nice little visual trails here. And too many psychedelics there. We have our move cam. And then we can blend between the wet affected signal. So for instance, if I turn warp up, I can blend between the unwarped video and the warped video. Now the cool thing is we can use any combination of these effects. So for instance, warp with rainbow, with some ghosting, with a little bit of error, and my candy, and it becomes very, very, very trippy. But like I said, what's really interesting about this is the ability to utilize the LFOs that are here for all the different uh, parameters.